So we have an accessibility button that will make the door open. It's Vancouver's first indoor supervised inhalation room. Six rooms are set up with fresh air coming in and air going out. When the, the client is done using the space and they're ready to come out, they just have to hit this button again, and it takes about 60 seconds for the room to be fully cleared. If someone does overdose, there is an emergency button, so the air can be cleared in 30 seconds for staff to safely enter. So that's clear. The BC Centre for Excellence in HIV AIDS is opening the rooms at its Hope to Health Centre in the downtown east side. Key to this, nurses are on hand and there is primary care available. If we don't create mechanisms for these individuals to be able to use safely uh, and engage with the medical system and generate a points of entry into the medical system, we will never be able to solve the problem. Research will be conducted on the inhalation spaces, including how they compare with outdoor inhalation sites. We want to evaluate and monitor how these types of sites and other types of outdoor sites are reaching different clients, and specifically here, how this site may be reaching clients that are unattached to care and are an entry point into care. The rooms share a space with seven supervised injection booths. There were 1,200 visits last month with five overdoses. No one has died here, but numbers show deaths from injections in red are declining while smoking in orange is increasing. We were addressing injection, but we were failing to address the, uh, the smoking and inhalation of the drugs. The site hopes to change that. The rooms will be operating as soon as Health Canada issues a permit. That's expected to happen within a matter of weeks. Grace Key, Global News.